Hi there. I would like to share some thoughts I have had over the past 66 years as a disciple of Jesus, our Lord Jesus. Hopefully they will help you grow in wisdom and discernment. If the Bible actually is God's word, and my 66 years as a disciple of Jesus tell me it indeed is, then the future of homosexual people is not inviolable or desirable. The earth is a battleground of righteous and wicked spirits fighting each other. A human being must choose to live righteously or he eventually will be classified as wicked. Christ will help, okay? He will help. The massive error of our day is the idea that one can believe in Christ but not obey his commands or those of his apostles. Religion consists of men making an effort to understand God and to please him. However, the true objective of the believer is to enter union, enter union with God and Christ through God's Spirit. Religion itself is not salvation. It is not salvation. Salvation is the possession of God and Christ themselves. If you are wise, you will make as few assumptions as possible and bring everything to Jesus for His wisdom and power. Any nations is going downhill fast because of the thinking that places that places human comfort above the, the iron laws that govern the universe. God helps those who do what they can while calling on Christ for assistance. To say, I have been healed, I have been healed when we haven't been is an attempt to employ or use metaphysical power. Rather, we should say, I am sick, but I believe God will heal me. To be theologically correct is of little value in the kingdom of God. To have fellowship, to have fellowship with Christ and God is of the highest value. Perhaps when a Christian nation has been greatly reduced because of sin, God may use the devout Christian people to build a better nation, as was through the beginning of that country. The only manner in which we can attain to eternal, eternal righteousness, love, joy, and peace is to think, speak, and act in agreement with God's will for us. People come, okay? They, people come and people go, but the Lord Jesus Christ never changes. Man was created to serve God. He was created to serve God. When he isn't serving God, he is a miserable pile of corrupting dust. God moves so slowly that we may be tempted to believe he has changed his mind. God never changes his mind. We just need to be patient until his word come to pass. Thank you for watching this reflection episode. God bless.